Out at San Jose tonight, there is a new face in the mayor's race. A few hours ago, County Supervisor Cindy Chavez announced that she is running. We are ready together to expand the approaches we've taken to homelessness and housing. To fight with all our might climate change, even something that people believe is inevitable, we can do something about it. Three other city council members are also running. Mayor Sam Licardo was termed out. The election is a little over eight months away. A few minutes ago, we were talking about vaccine mandates for students. Tonight, there is also a big push to make vaccines mandatory before you get on an airplane. KPIX 5's Andrea Borba is live at SFO for us. Andrea? Well, Elizabeth, it is all quiet here at SFO right now as we stand, but we are approaching the fall and winter holidays. And one California senator wants to make sure we don't see a repeat of the COVID-19 surge we saw last winter. In addition to having your ID and bags checked at the ticket counter, your COVID-19 vaccine record would also be checked for domestic flights. The proposal coming from California Senator Dianne Feinstein would have travelers on U.S. flights present either a COVID-19 vaccination record, a negative PCR test, or proof of recovered COVID-19 infection. Checking, though, would not be the job of the TSA. It does require all the attestation to be done at the, by the airline and for the airline to provide confirmation of it. A Gallup study from April said six out of 10 Americans favor a vaccine mandate for U.S. air travel. Professor Dorit Rice from UC Hastings specializes in vaccine law and says this proposal stands on very solid legal ground because it provides off ramps for the unvaccinated. One of the challenges to it might be you need to include a religious exemption for people to oppose COVID-19 who oppose a COVID-19 vaccine. I don't think that will fly, and here's why. It has a general exception, which is people can provide a negative test instead. So people with religious objections to vaccination can say, can instead go and get a negative PR, PCR test. So there's already an exemption built in. We asked some travelers at SFO what they think about the proposed law. Now you're packed right next to someone. I, I don't want to drink on the plane. I don't want to eat on the plane. I'm not taking my mask off. I would feel much more comfortable knowing someone else is vaccinated. I mean, it's just science. Let's just go with science, people. <laughs> Now, this is not the only mode of transit, Elizabeth, that could see one of these vaccine mandates. There is a proposal in the House right now to do the same for Amtrak. They are becoming the norm, that's for sure. All right, Andrea, thank you.